Yeah, hello. Uh, the project I'm going to present today is fine-tuning language model using formal methods feedback. Nowadays, there are a lot of fine-tuning algorithms uh, using human feedback for large language models, where they use human scores, the generated data. However, uh, those fine-tuning algorithms are labor-intensive because they rely on real human to do the score. And also, human may provide inconsistent feedback. Then we are trying to propose a method that using formal methods to replace human feedback. A formal method is uh, we have some automata-based representation and we want to use model checking to check it against some linear temporal logic specifications. And this can reduce the labor intensive because formal method uh, is an automated feedback method. So we don't need human to label the score. Also, uh, it avoids the inconsistent feedback problem due to the nature of formal methods. Uh, there, uh, here is a brief introduction to model checking. So suppose we have a model that modeling the system or environment, and then we have a controller to tell how to operate in the model uh, in the system. Then we are able to get all possible system executions. Uh, then the temporal logic specification would be a set of a lowable sequence of logical formulas. Basically, the model checking would be a procedure that check whether all the possible system executions uh, belongs to the allowable set of sequences. Uh, here is our method. Uh, we have a abstract model for the system, and then the user will provide specifications and a control task. Uh, then the user will query the language model to generate uh, multiple responses to the same task, and we use automated feedback to compare, uh, give preference to the uh, feedback uh, to to the output of the language model. Then we feed this output into the direct preference optimization algorithm uh, to fine tune the language model. So more specifically, uh, we will get a, a system model from the system designer. And then uh, we are going to transform the textual response from the language model to an automaton-based controller. And then user will provide a set of uh, temporal logic specifications in this way, we are able to apply a user model checker to see uh, how many specifications each controller, when implemented in the model, satisfied. Uh, basically, the response that satisfies more specification would be the preferred uh, response. So first, uh, we will obtain the model from the system, which would be an uh, automaton-based model that encode all the transitions, all the potential transitions in the system. Then uh, the user will give a task to the language model and then query for multiple responses uh, by changing the random seed. For each response, uh, we will apply some existing method to parse it to verb phrases, and then following some grammar to construct a automaton-based controller that represent those uh, textual steps. Uh, similarly, we are able to get another automaton-based controller for the other uh, output. And after we having the two controllers, uh, we, can, we can verify each controller when implement the system uh, satisfy each specification or not. So if this controller satisfies uh, two specifications, and then uh, the second one satisfies all the specific specifications, then we get a result that uh, the second response is more preferred than the first response. Um, based on this, we are able to get a reward signal, which is a preference uh, to the DPO algorithms. And then we will use this to fine tune the language model. Then uh, we perform an uh, empirical analysis on the autonomous driving system. Uh, and here we are able to show that uh, when we try to fine tune it, we are able to, uh, the language model is able to satisfy more specifications uh, after the fine tuning. Then as the next step, uh, we are thinking to uh, convert the system model to uh, API and then convert the controller into some uh, executable code so that we will have a verified code that can execute in the real environment. Uh, 